mountain ranges have an important role in regulating global climates and shaping ecosystems. As such, the way they are formed is a matter of intense interest among those who study and model climates of the past. This interest is soon to gather more steam with a groundbreaking study published recently by an international team of researchers from China University of Geosciences in Beijing, Stanford University, and Brown University, among others. The team examined the isotopic composition of volcanic rocks in southern Tibet. Oxygen exists as three stable isotopes or chemical variants, oxygen 16, 17, and 18. Of these, one key isotope, oxygen 17, is extremely rare. Leveraging this knowledge, the team adapted the triple oxygen analysis technique to paleoaltimetry and used it to estimate the past elevation of the Tibetan plateau. Sampling quartz veins in southern Tibet, the team showed for the first time that the edge of the Eurasian plate, or the Gangdes range, was already quite high, about 3.5 kilometers on average, prior to its collision that created the Tibetan Plateau. This suggests that the Gangdes range was more than halfway to its summit before a continental collision. The findings disprove the claim that it takes a massive tectonic collision of the order of continent to continent scale to produce the sort of uplift required to produce Tibetan Plateau scale elevations. The Tibetan Plateau has always fascinated humankind. But this study brings us a step closer to understanding its remarkable history.